Amen. 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 I want to welcome everyone, newcomers, first timers, welcome to Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. This is your host, uh, Dr. Uh, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi, welcome you from Brampton, Ontario, Canada. People who are asking me where do I come from, I come from Canada. I am in Canada, Ontario, Brampton. Welcome once again. Thank you for joining. Thank you for coming. I'm going to talk to you the subject called Anointing of Impossibility. Reopen doors of heaven. Anointing of impossibility. Reopen doors of heaven. Im impo there is no impossibility of God. God of impossibility will reopen the doors of heaven. Every door that has been crossed for you, the impossibility, God of impossibility will, reop re will reopen again in Jesus' name. There is nothing that God cannot do. God is, a, to, 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 to man it is impossible, but God it is possible. Impossibility, impossibility of God. Hallelujah. My God, he will make things that, it, 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 things that is not there to work for you. Things that is impossible. Things that is impossible. To God it is impossible. God Almighty, God of heaven, when God says in the book of Malachi, bring he, bring the whole tithe unto the storehouse so that they will be food in my house and test me now. This says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and boil out for your blessings until it overflow you. When God says so, God understood, God knows that there is nothing impossible. There is nothing impossible to him. He is only asking you, bring it, bring it and see if I will not open windows of heaven. God will reopen windows that has been closed. God will reopen doors that has been closed. God will reopen doors of, 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 of your breakthrough that has been, has been blocked in Jesus' name. God is going to reopen the doors. The gates that has been shut on you in Jesus' name. In the book of Malachi, in the book of in the book of Matthew, in the book of Matthew 16, verse 19, God is going to open the gates and get and give you the key to put in the bucket. God is going to reopen the doors, the gates of heaven and give you the key to put on your own pocket now this key is to open and close it because when you enter you have to open when you go out you have to close it so the key you will put on in your own pocket you will have this key because god is god of impossibility god who who, who makes things to work is your god is God anointing, anointing that make impossibility open doors of heaven for you in Jesus' name. God of, of impossibility is God in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at this. The Bible says, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and where, where, and whatsoever and wherever you, you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and wherever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven because of this anointing of impossibility reopen doors of heaven now when when the, the lord reopen doors he will give you the keys he will give you the keys of heaven and you will bound you will bind on heart and in heaven will be loose in jesus name that is how god operates god operates with the anointing anointing that he will be able to give you the key anointing that he will give which makes god to give you the key to put on your own pocket god give elijah the key of rain elijah shut the rain for three and a half years and they put the keys on his pocket and they hold the the, the land for three and a half years the anointing of impossibility anointing that it reopen doors of heaven and the same elijah reopened heaven and the rain started raining and and people were started rejoicing again after that famine that that severe uh, people that it was very severe famine in the land because of sin 
God is going to reopen the windows, the doors that has been closed by the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. God of impossibility, he will reopen doors and give you the keys. You will hold and put that key in your own pocket in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, when, when the anointing that will make you to rule, and no human being will curse you. No human being will touch you. No witch, no wizard will rest against you and go free. When you have that anointing, anointing of impossibility, that will open doors for you, windows for you. No one will touch you except God Himself. Let's look in the book of uh, in the book of uh, in the book of uh, First Samuel sixteen, verse twelve to twenty-three. Here is a very powerful scripture that everybody knows and we have been reading, but we, we don't see how it, how it happened. The boy Samuel, the boy David, when God told Samuel to go and look this boy to anoint him, Saul was not aware, Saul did not know that there is a, a boy, there is a young man who has been anointed. They immediately when David was anointed, the, the Holy Spirit departed from Saul. Look at this. The Bible says, So he sent, brought him. Now he was rude with beautiful eyes and handsome appearance. And the Lord says, Arise, anoint him, for this is, this is he. You know, uh, Jesse, the father of, of, of David, when Samuel was looking for the boy, Jesse presented his own son, tall, beautiful, handsome. But the spirit rejected all the sons of, of Jesse until he ran to the boy that he was looking for. They, Samuel said, is this all your sons? They, uh, Jesse said, no, there's one in the field who is taking care of my sheep. Now they said, bring him, bring him, bring him, bring him here to anoint him. The Lord is going to bring you wherever you are. The anointing of God is going to look wherever you are to bring you to the king and kings and to bring you to the prison and president. Now, now the Bible says, Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers, and the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon David from that day forward. And Samuel arose and went to Ramah. Now the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul and an evil spirit from the Lord terrorized him. You know, immediately in the heaven and heart. When this young boy, a boy, a youth, I think he was like 17 years. I'm not sure at the age, his age, I'll, I'll check it again. He was a young boy. He was a young man. He was a youth. He was not a grown up. The Bible says a young boy, a youth. When he, has, he was anointed with, Jesus, with Samuel, and that anointed ran to the head of, of Saul, and Saul was terror, terrorized, and Saul start, was terrorized. After being terrorized, then here, Saul is servant then said to him, Behold now, an evil spirit from God is terrorizing you. Let our Lord now command your servant who are before you, let let them seek a man who is skillful prayer on the herb, and it shall come up, uh, and uh, come upon when the evil spirit from God is on you. Then he shall pray the herb with his hand, and you will be well. Now here the servant of Saul told Saul, "I know a young a young man who can pray a, a, who can pray music." On your head and the evil spirit will depart from you now after the anointing after that the anointing of impossibility reopened doors for for David and that is how David was 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 announced and that is how David was was advertised it, that that anointing advertised David all over the world all over Israel the anointing will advertise your name. Let your, the anointing of God advertise your name in Jesus' name. You don't need media. You don't need media. When this anointing, that of the anointing of God, land into you, it will advertise you. You don't need any media. You will be announced by him. You, you see, now this anointing, he went and, and, and fetched David at the at where he was taking care of the sheep. He, David was no he didn't he had no idea 
what was going on here is the the servant of the king looking for david looking the the the, the administration of, of, of trump looking at you looking to come and, and say our our president is crazy is running crazy we want to help we want you help come and help him come and sing for him administration from from uh, from white house administration from from the queen's palace administration from the prime minister Stevie, uh, from uh, uh, a prime minister coming to look for you, a young boy who is not known, who is not no education, who is looking for a, if, if father's farm, uh, sheep. Look at how powerful it is. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good, people of God. Now, then Saul says, So Saul said to his servant, Provide for him. Provide for me now a man who can pray well and bring him to me. Now Saul says, provide him, provide him, go and bring him, go, go and get him, go and get him immediately. So the servant of, of Saul ran, ran to get David. And that is how David was advertised and that is how David was, was come to known in Israel. Hallelujah. Then then one of the young men said, behold, I have seen a son of Jesse the veteranites who is skillful you see now now a warrior it is said a warrior and a prudent in speech and a handsome man and the lord is with him so sorrow sent a message to jesse and said send me your son david who is with the, the flock jesse took a donkey rode it with the bread and a jack of wine and a young god and sent them to Saul by david his son then David came to Saul and attended him, and Saul loved him greatly, and he became his arm bear. So Saul sent to Jesse, saying, Let David now stand, stay, stand before me, for he has found favor in my sight. So it came about where, when, wherever the evil spirit from God came to Saul, David could take the harp and pray it with his hand and sorrow will be refreshed and be well then evil spirit would depart from him hallelujah hallelujah praise be the name of jesus you see what happened now the bible says that when david was praying the music that evil spirit would depart from him and sorrow would be refreshed would feel better would feel better that anointing, anointing of impossibility will advertise your name. Anointing that is impossible. That, 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 who knows, who knows that David could be found in favor in the sight of Saul. After, at the end, after that anointing, David went to the war, killed Goliath. David went to the war, killed thousands. And the women were seeing, started singing, composing things, singing, sing, singing for David. And Saul become jealous and angry. And it's the same boy who killed Goliath, who was who was bringing trouble, who who was cursing the God of Israel, who was making the Israel to fear. And and now David has helped Saul to win the war, killing the enemies. And here is Saul. He's afraid that David is going to overthrow him. Because of jealous and greedy, Saul died. He didn't, because this anointed man of God, God was already anointed him, and Saul did not know that this is the, this will be the next king. And, and he was, he wanted to kill him. He wanted to destroy him because he, he, he noticed the anointing that this young man has. May your enemy die. May your enemy who is attack, attacking your anointing, let them die. Let them kill themselves and die in the name of Jesus. In the book of Acts 13 verse 22, the Bible says, After removing Saul, he rest up David as their king and testified about him. I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my will in this eternity. You will be found in favor. You will be found favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Anointing of impossibility will open doors for you to get favor and recognize in Jesus' name. That anointing, anointing that make David become the, as the Bible says, that David become the, 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 the man of, of God's own heart. 
David became the man of God his own heart. David of all the people, a young man, became God, became God's own heart. You will become God's own heart in Jesus' name. Nothing, no impossibility, no powers of darkness will take, will, will take your anointing in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, if we look in the Bible, Hebrews 12, if Hebrews 11 verse 32, the Bible says, many were living with the faith who were anointed. When God has anointed you, there is nothing impossibility. There is nothing impossible to God. There is nothing, in nothing. When you look at the book of Hebrews 11 verse 32, the Bible says, what can I say? And what more shall I say? Times will not allow me to tell all of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jebita, David, Samuel, and the prophets. Those who are anointed, super anointed. Look at Gideon. Gideon, who killed, who killed the enemies, who ran with the, the gates up to the hill and killed them. Look at Barak. Look at Samson. Look at the, look, 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 at, look at Jebita and David, Saul, and the other prophets. Look at that. They were anointed. You could not joke with these people. They would put you a curse, and the curse would work on immediately on you in Jesus' name. Now, the Bible says that God of impossibility is God to reopen the door. God is one to, open, to reopen the doors of heaven. Every door that has been closed for you, the Lord of, of heaven is one to open the door and, and, and you will have free. You will be free in Jesus' name. The doors, the doors, the anointing, that will destroy. The anointing, that will destroy the power. The anointing, that will destroy every closed door. The anointing that he will destroy every closed door and reopen the door of heaven in Jesus' name. The anointing that he will destroy every the satanic door. The anointing would, that he will destroy every witchcraft. The anointing that he will destroy every demon that is attacking you. The anointing that he will destroy every satanic attack that has been attacking you all the time in the name of Jesus. The anointing that he will, uh, will destroy every spirit husband, every spirit wife that is attacking you, that is taking your husband, that is taking your wife, that is taking your money in the name of Jesus. God is going to reopen the uh, the, the door at once again in Jesus' name. The anointing that you will receive, it is the anointing which will break and destroy every obstacles, every strong man in, in your life in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, because of this anointing. The anointing that you will reopen close the door. The anointing that will reopen the gates that has been closed on you. The anointing that will break every bridge. Every bridge that the enemy has built for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. The anointing that will break every ropes that has been tying you. The, the anointing that will break every chains that has been broken you in your eyes, in your mouth, in anywhere you are doing. The, the, the anointing that will break every yoke in Jesus name in the mighty name of jesus i pray that where is the lord god of elijah arise and arise victory voice for you in the mighty name of jesus that god of elijah is the same god that gave elijah the key of, of the rain and the righteous shut the rain for three and a half years is the same God God who has who will give you the keys of heaven and bind and loose anything in heart and it will be loose in heaven that is the anointing that is the anointing that God will, will give you to reopen every windows every doors that has been closed for you in Jesus name in the mighty name of Jesus my God I want to thank you father let the sword of the God of Elijah arise Rise against every occult power and, and destroy them. The anointing, the anointing of God will rise up like the sword of Elijah that will rise against occult and, and destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, anointing, anointing, anointing that will break every spirit of death and hell. You shall not die, but declare the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Anointing that will destroy every witch every strong man anointing the anointing of impossibility that anointing when you have been anointed 
I'm telling you, we will have anointing service once again to anoint you once more so that you can call this anointing that any witch will attack you. They will fall down and die in the name of Jesus. They will not be able to touch you because you are untouchable. You, they are not permitted to touch you in the name of Jesus. You are untouchable. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. Now, let's look at the book of uh, Numbers 27, 18. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit, and lay your hand on him. Now, Joshua was another example who was being anointed. Joshua was anointed. And he started reading the children of Israel after he was after the part of after the past of Moses. So that anointing of Joshua, read the children of Israel, and you see how Joshua God promised him that no one would touch you. No one, as I was with Moses, I would be with you. Because anointed has been anointed on him. The spirit of God has entered him in him. So people of God. Do not worry about witches and wizards. Do not worry about what the enemy is planning to do with you. You are being anointed. You are being protected by God in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, the Bible says in the book of 1 Samuel 2 verse 35, the Bible says, But I will raise up for myself a faithful priest who will do according to what is my heart. And in my soul, I will build him and ensure house, and he will walk before my anointed ones. You see, God will raise up a leader, anointed, and that was David. You see how David, how God anointed David from nowhere? It's the same thing. Our God knows you. Our God knows you, and he will anoint you, and no one will touch you and survive. I have told you the story many times. I have been attacked physically with the gunmen coming with the gun to shoot me, but they were not able to shoot me. They have attacked me by road accident, coming to me to kill me through road accident. They didn't succeed because God has anointed me. No witchcraft, no wizard, no powers of darkness would attack me and survive. Many people that have died and go to the grave because of me. Anyone who will touch me will die. Anyone who will touch my children, they shall die. Anybody will touch you. Any witch will try to witch you and attack you. They will die. The ground will be open and swallow. Look at what happened to Moses. When God anointed Moses, and here his people started complaining against him, what happened? The ground opened and swallowed them. The anointing of impossibility that will open doors and windows of you. Nobody will close your door and go free. Nobody will close your window and go free. Nobody will, clo will close your gates and go free in Jesus' name. God himself has anointed you, has ordained you. Therefore, people of God, walk in faith. Walk in faith. Believe in his word. Believe in him and you shall live in Jesus' name. Look at the Bible. Uh, 1 Samuel 10, verse 1. When, and then Samuel took the flash of oil, boiled on, on, on him, on his head, kiss him, kissed him, and said, Has not the Lord anointed you a ruler over Israel? And inheritance. This is a young man. Man, this is, when he was being anointed, King David, King Saul was a king, and David was wondering what is going on. How can I become a king as I am, as the way I am? David was no idea what happened. But after that anointing, his name was advertised. And advertised went free, free of judge. All in the media. David has become a king in the spiritual realm. This advertisement went all over the world. And David was just saying, what? You have been announced. People were calling him a king even before Saul could call him. That is how the anointing of the spirit would move into their life in Jesus' name. Then now you see, the, the, uh, the Bible says, 1 Samuel 10.6, then the spirit of the Lord will, will come upon you mightily, and you shall prophesy with them and be changed unto another man. And then verse 10. And then it happened. When he turned his back to, his, to, to leave Samuel, God changed his heart, and all these signs came upon on that day. 
first uh, Samuel eleven six. And then the spirit of God came upon Saul mightily when he heard those words and became very angry. Now, 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 the, uh, Saul become angry, become very angry when he heard that David has been anointed and, and the spirit of God has become mightily to, to David. Now, he was very angry and that's why he went crazy. Once you are angry, greedy for someone else, you know some people, I don't know what's wrong with the people. When they see somebody's been racing up or they don't like somebody, they will try to, to bring that person down. They will try to strike. They will try to slow down. They will not support the person. But the person has been anointed. Whether you like it or not, you will die and suffer and this person will, go, will continue. You don't have to touch an anointed person, anointed man of God or anointed woman woman of God. You are greedy, you are jealous, you are enemy, will kill you, will kill you, and you will die and leave that position in Jesus' name. This is what happened to, to Saul. Saul died because of he was angry and rebellious and jealousy. He didn't like people. He didn't like anybody. He wanted himself. He wanted himself. Even when God told him, go and kill all those people. And they went and looked for women and good cows and everything and they keep some of them. And God was very angry with him. You are a king. You have everything. Why are you, why are you do, do, again do you want these things? Why do you want people's things? Why I've told you destroy them and you don't want to destroy them. Saul become rebellious, angry for everything and he loses kingdom. He loses leadership because of anger. Any person who is having a heart of angry, anger, that is a very dangerous person. It's a dangerous and evil and, 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 and wicked. So David, God deal with Saul and Saul kill himself. Saul killed himself and with his children. They died one day, all of them. So your enemy, who is attacking you, who is attacking your anointing, shall die with his children, with everyone in Jesus' name. God himself will kill them. Now look at this. Hallelujah. Jesus is God. Now if you look at 2 Samuel, 2 Samuel 2 verse 4, the Bible says, Then the men of Judah, Judea came and there anointed King David, David king over the house of Judah and they and, they, and told David saying it was the men of 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 of, of, of Jes, Jesgad who buried Saul. Now here is the Bible, the word of God says in in, in Psalms 84, verse 9, the Bible says, Behold, O God our shelter, and look on the face of your anointed. First, first Psalms 89. Verse 20, and here is what the word of God says. I have found David my servant with my whole, I have, I have found David my servant with my, my holy oil. Have, I have anointed him. I have found David my servant with my holy oil. I have anointed, anointed him. Now, God has anointed David with his holy anointing. God has anointed David with his own anointing. He has anointed him. So no one will war against David and go free. Anyone that will war against you will not go free. They will die. They will die. They will die in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, the Bible says in Psalms 105, verse 15, saying, Touch not my servant and do my harm, my, my private no harm. Touch, you know, this was a a, 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 a final protection that was a, a final protection that God protect his servant that God has protected you God has a final uh, a protection he has said don't touch my anointed um, my, my anointed my prophet harm don't touch them you know Elijah Arisha, there was a youth 42 youths they were mocking Elisha Mocking, laughing at him. What happened? Elisha cast them straight away. And the bear, a female bear, came from, from the wool and they killed for the two youths. They died. He killed them physically. They died, all of them. So when you touch the anointing of God, you will die physically, even if spiritually. That's why you don't pray with the anointed servant of God. Just go away. Leave them. Now, when Saul tried to kill David, what happened? Saul died himself. And, the king, and David was anointed as a king, as you see the scripture. 
You people are so wicked. You will suffer, suffer, and been been terrorizing. Be, you will be terror, terrorized and suffer because of a greedy, angry, and jealousy that you have seen somebody. God has arrested somebody. Leave the people of God. Leave the person that God has arrested. The person, if he doesn't do the right thing, God will deal with them. Now the same, the same young young boy, this youth. He was the one who was called to, to Saul to help him. And Saul became angry with him and become bitter. He wanted to kill him. But because he was already been anointed, Saul could not do him anything. And if David wanted to kill Saul, he could have killed him. Because one time when Saul was chasing David, he was tired and he was sleeping in the cave. And Saul and David was there, right there. Saul was dead asleep. And David went there and they cut the, the, the belt of Saul. Well, Saul, Saul could not hear anything because he was tired and he was deep sleep. Your enemy will go deep sleep and you will hold him and do anything you want in Jesus' name. If David wanted to, but David, he, David keeps the law and he knows the curses of God and he feared God so much. He said, I'm not one to touch anointed man of God. Saul was anointed by God and I'm not one to touch him. No matter, no matter what he's doing, I will protect myself. I will hide him. I will run away until that, until God will deal with him. God deal treatedly to Saul. God will deal treatedly to your enemy. God will deal treatedly to your enemy that wants to destroy you. Your enemy that wants to destroy you, the Lord Almighty will kill him. He will destroy them. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I have seen, I have, I had a, 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 a land, and this land, the government has been fighting for the land for a long, long, long time. They wanted to take that land. Every time, whoever come up, wants to fight about that land, that person will die and leave. That land, it is in the town center, and the government, they claim it is their land. I said, take it, take it, it's yours, take it. Wherever they want to take it, they will die. They have been dying because they are that land I was given by God and we put a building there, we put a church, we put the orphanage. And here is the enemy who wants to attack the land of God that God has given us and, and they go, go free. God, will, anything that the enemy will steal from you, the Lord will kill that person and he will possess in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 10 verse 27, the Bible says, and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off from the shoulder and his yoke from off the neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of their anointing. The yoke will be destroyed because of anointing. Every yoke in your life, every yoke that, that is, a, that is, that's a, that, that is, that is a affecting your life shall be destroyed by the anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. Every, every, every breach, every gate, anything that the enemy has dig against you, they shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Anointing, you don't have to fear. You don't have to fear witches and wizards. You don't have to fear about them. I was praying for one of the ladies yesterday, and this lady seems that she was she fears a lot about witchcraft. I told her, I have anointed you. I have given to you anointing. You don't have to have fear anymore with witch. They cannot do anything as long as I, I prayed for that oil. The anointing, the same anointing, the anointing of God, the same, same anointing. God has anointing that oil. Therefore, when you take this oil, no witches and wizards will stand before you and go free. If they will attack you, they will be crushed into pieces. Don't fear about them because this anointing will destroy them. The anointing that, that you have, the, the anointing that you have anointed with you, it is one to talk and speak on you. It will break every yoke. It will destroy every yoke. Anything that is working against you in Jesus' name. It will break every obstacle that is hindering your progress in cities and nations. It will break every yoke that is prolonging problem in, in you and suffering bondage. It will break and destroy this anointing. It will break every prolonging problems and suffering bondage. That prolonging problem and suffering bondage, 
that anointing it is going to destroy the anointing will destroy every priest of darkness monitoring your destiny and it will dry up in jesus name that anointing the anointing of god will break and destroy every priest of darkness monitoring your destiny monitoring you that is how the anointing is going to do the anointing will break every witches that is monitoring you those are calling you for your in the mirror they are using satanic mirror those uh, satanic priest satanic priest of darkness monitoring your destiny that anointing will break will destroy them when they are monitoring your movement when they are looking at you that anointing will break them will break it in jesus name in the mighty name of jesus the anointing of god the anointing that god is anointing you it is going to dry up every priest of darkness monitoring you monitoring your destiny the, the anointing, the anointing that God, the anointing that God has anointing you, the anointing of God, it will break every power fueling your problem. That power fueling your problem, the anointing will dry them up in Jesus' name. The anointing will break the powers of the house, the powers, the, the anointing will break every evil power, powers, every evil powers assigned against you. They will break them. They will destroy them and break them to pieces in Jesus' name. The anointing of, will break every resources. The anointing will break every resources of enemy. The anointing will break every resources of the enemy. Every resources of the enemy, where the enemy gets their power, this anointing will break them and destroy them. Resources of heaven will rest by fire and promote you in Jesus' name. Every area of your life in need of divine restoration and replacement, receive it in the name of Jesus. The anointing that will bring a, a divine restoration and a replacement, receive it in Jesus' name. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. By the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ, I release you from the grave of the spirit of death and hell in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, every wrong standing yoke, be broken by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every long-standing yoke be broken, be broken by the power in the blood of Jesus. I command every long-standing yoke be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken by the by the by, by the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Every long-standing yoke. Every long standing problem, wherever it's been wrong standing against your life, against you, against your children, let it be broken in pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, my Father, my Father, I pray, let the anointing, the anointing, let the anointing of the earthquake of deliverance be released to throw down every barrier of, of your moving forward in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the anointing of earthquake of deliverance be released. To, to release upon you and to throw down every barrier of moving forward in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, let anointing destroy every circle of hardship and temptation and break them and break them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the anointing break every speaking, every altar, speaking strengthness and backwardness and catch fire and bind to ashes in Jesus' name. Yes, the anointing of God will break. You see, the anointing will break every every satanic altar, speaking strangeness and backwardness against you in Jesus' name. That 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 is the work of anointing. It will break it in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, my Father, my God, I want to thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, my God, I thank you and I bless you. I give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. God, we love you. Lord, we, we praise your name. Let judgment of heaven be written against all satanic kingdoms and, and, and its agents sponsoring wickedness in you, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let judgment of heaven be written against all satanic kingdoms and its agents sponsoring wickedness in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Fresh glory, fresh power, fresh anointing, fresh favor fall upon upon you in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus yes Lord my father I want to thank you Lord I pray the blood of Jesus I call upon fresh glory fresh fire fresh power fresh anointing fall upon
upon you in Jesus' name. Reopening door of heaven fall upon you in Jesus' name. May God reopen door for you. Reopen the door that has been closed by the enemy. God of heaven, let him reopen door. Let him reopen door again. That door that has been closed, you will move forward. You will not move. You will not. You will not move backward. Whether the enemy like it or not, the enemy that wants you to move backward, may he die instantly. May he die instantly. May the right and turn of God locate them and kill them in Jesus' name. God Almighty will reopen the doors, the doors of heaven, the doors of, of, of heaven, the doors of moving, moving you forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, thank you very much. God bless you so much. I love you. I love you so much. And there's nothing I can do about it. I have to stop here. God bless you. See you tonight, midnight. We will continue. We are going to look 27 rules of prosperity. And you have to declare them. God will help you. Tonight, we will complete. We will continue with our topic of 27 rules of prosperity. If you want to be prosper, you better come to prayer line, periscope, uh, popcorn. We are there. Call me to get the prayer line. We will be continue from there in Jesus' name. God help you. And uh, I'm here. If you need prayers, uh, I will be praying with you, and uh, you can call me. You can go to our website, www.overcomersdhministries.blogspot.ca. Or you can email me, overcomersdhm at gmail.com. Our number to reach me is 905-792-3798. The number to reach me, 905 uh, 7923798 God bless you so much I love you I love you there's nothing I can do about it thank you bye bye bye